Alrighty. Tim Tebow rebuild. You guys asked for it. I said I was going to bring it to you. We're going to make it happen. So, with that being said, if you guys want to see more of these rebuilds, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And in the comment section, let me know future players you would like to see rebuilds around. Also, in the description, there's my Twitch channel. Go there. I will be streaming tonight because we haven't streamed the last two days. I need to make it up to you guys. So, tonight, there will be a stream. It's going to be a little bit later, probably around 11 p.m. Eastern. So, be on the lookout for that. So, let's get into today's rebuild. All right, so we're going to be the Mets, obviously, because that's the team that Tebow is on. We're going to control everything. You know, that's what we do. And then let's go make Tim Tebow a major leaguer. Oh, man. I don't know why this was a good idea. I really I really don't know. I thought, you know what? It'd be kind of cool. Let's throw him in the squad. Um, As you guys can probably tell, I'm using a different roster. It's going to be right here on screen right now you guys will see that oh i didn't want to edit him i just wanted to call him up so what we're gonna do is like i said we're just gonna add him to the major league squad he's gonna be a major league player the entire time and we can't we can't get rid of him he is the one guy we can't get rid of no matter what so hopefully he doesn't retire i know sometimes he does but we'll have to wait and see how things go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add him to the lineup we're gonna get everything sorted and whatnot we're gonna have our squad set up I'm going to make a couple trades. I'll show you the trades, and then we'll just hop into the rebuild like it's a normal thing. All right, so we're going to get rid of Yoenis Cespedes for Jake Diekman and Ian Kennedy. I'm going to try to flip Kennedy somehow. That contract is horrible. All right, like I said, we're trying to flip Ian Kennedy. We're going to get Derek Holland. It's a one-year deal. It's a lot smaller contract, too. All right, Juan Lagares, Jed Lowry, and David Thompson for Carlos Martinez and John Gant. I really just wanted Martinez. We'll throw in Gant. And then David Thompson to make this deal just a little bit better. Irving Santana and Robinson Cano. As much as I love Robbie Cano, we're going to trade him to the Rangers for Rugnet Odor and Mike Miner. We're going to, you know, make the starting pitching a little bit stronger. We get a new second baseman. I know we have Jeff McNeil, so I guess we don't really need... I mean, Jeff McNeil moves to third. I think that's the move. McNeil moves to third, and we, uh, we let Odor play second. Alrighty, next trade we're gonna we're gonna clear some space i normally don't like to trade within the division but this one kind of helps us out for a couple seasons coda glover and joe ross for steven Matz and jason vargas Alrighty, so we're going for jake odorizzi of the twins for just a year for matt kemp who we aren't ever going to use justin wilson who normally doesn't do too well and then mark vientos so we needed a kind of a, another starter, so that's why I went along those lines. So let me let me get the lineup and stuff moved around. Really, I wanted to open up cap space. And the Mets, they really don't have anybody of value to trade unless you want to trade away some of their key pieces. So that's kind of where we're at. So let me get this lineup and rotation started. So we have an abundance of relief pitchers. So we're just going to trade two away for, uh, away for like one minor leaguer in Juan Minaya. Sometimes he develops, sometimes he doesn't. It's also a smaller contract than $6.5 for Derek Holland. So we're going to trade for him. All right. So season one, I really didn't want to change too much. And I know I say that making a lot of trades. The thing is, I want to get rid of a lot of big contracts. So we have DeGrom. We have Syndergaard. Solid. Wheeler, he's usually a good three, four, five starting pitcher. Minor, he's got a two-year deal. So after that, we should be fine. And then Odorizzi has a one-year deal. So I have a feeling we may end up signing one pitcher. So that's perfectly fine with me. When we look at the bullpen, I have a... A, an okay feeling about it you know Juris familia as long as he pitches well we should be fine carlos martinez should be fine edwin diaz is a good closer it's this little section right here i'm a little worried about when we look at the lineup though i like it you know we have mcneil odor alonzo conforto wilson ramos nimo ahmed rosario should develop dominic smith's a good little bench bat to have Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow's Tim Tebow. You know, we we may get a couple home runs out of him here and there. He, who knows? He might be the MVP. We might win a World Series out of it. Crazy things have happened. I don't really know what to expect. All I know is Tim Tebow is a glaring issue in this lineup. But that's the point of it. That's why we're having some fun with this rebuild and uh, changing up the Mets a little bit. So let's see how season one goes. I'll catch you guys at draft day. Wait, we did pretty good with the draft. I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy with the way things turned out. So you guys can see. Villegas, 68 overall, 94 potential. We got 84 potential with Rene Armas. He's 74 overall already. Benny Washington, 67 overall. He's got 88 potential. Tom Dixon's got 84 potential. He's 66. And then we got Richard Watney, 
80 potential 56 overall this guy was like the lone bad player everything else really solid draft alrighty so something something changed with the Mets because all of a sudden they're a good team 94 and 68 are you kidding me we're taking on the Cubs in the divisional series so let's take a look league leaders Brandon Nimmo had the most walks and DeGrom had the most complete games and the best war so as you guys can see we won the division by two games above the Braves and let's take a look DeGrom is a 99 he's up to well he has a 258 ERA a 1.11 whip and was 17 and 8 on the air solid Degar Syndergaard geez Syndergaard is 289 ERA and 123 whip not bad you know 14 and 9 Mike Miner okay solid solid season three almost a three ERA 107 whip that's really good Zach Wheeler, not bad at all. Really good as well. A three and a half ERA is solid. And then even Orderizi had a really good year. Carlos Martinez, not bad at all. I mean, it's looking like overall the bullpen was amazing. Really solid. I had a lot of question marks. Overall, looks like it went really well. Like I can't, I'm not gonna, I don't have any complaints at, at all. Everybody was under a four. That's really good to see. Um, our bench yikes um jeff mcneil hit 316 with 18 home runs 74 rbis perfect 250 for odor a little low but hopefully it'll go up pete alonzo yikes 211 mm, yikes um conforto 26 homers almost a 250 average 280 for wilson ramos 10 homers 54 rbis okay brandon nimmo who 276 i probably should have him a little bit higher in the lineup maybe where odor is maybe we'll do that for the rest of the like the postseason and stuff like that. So let's take a look. Where were we? Where were we? We're right here. Um, Odor, Ahmed Rosario hit 242, 214 for Dom Smith. Now this is the big one. Tim Tebow, e, seven homers, a thir 32 RBIs, and a 195 average. Hmm. He's 56 overall. I'm kind of worried he might retire. Um, we'll take a look at some of our prospects really quick um doesn't look like we guillorme is really one but he went down yeah andres jimenez he's up to a 69 geez so that that actually developed really quickly and looking at this part of our team you know joe ross is a 72 coda glover and paul seawald is up to a 74 and 75 respectively so not too bad not too bad at all so let's hop into the playoffs against the cubs and we swept the cubs no way all right, well, there's that's a good start, you know. Like, that. <laughs> who would have thought? Who would have thought that would happen? But now we face the Dodgers, a very difficult opponent, and we're facing elimination. But to be honest, I'm pretty psyched with the way this this first season turned out. Who would have Who would have even imagined this would have happened? So let's let's see what the Dodgers lineup is looking like. It looks the same. Um, two run bomb awesome that's just what you want to start a game Ahmed Rosario goes deep are you serious all right Ramos Odor Nimmo so it's looking like we're gonna have to wait till the next inning to see our wonderful Tebow Tim Tebow hit by pitch <laughs> oh we move him over we can't get the run in so we're down two now Kike Hernandez goes deep and it's looking like you know it's it's gonna be a tough one we're facing Kershaw so we got the Grom up. It's out. Man, we haven't gotten a hit since that. We've, we've only had one hit, and it was that home run. We're getting on base from errors and walks. There we go. Wilson Ramos ties it up. It is a 3-3 ball game. Tim Tebow, you're 0 for 1 with a hit by pitch. Can you get on? You cannot. All right. I really should have taken the Grom out right there. Um, all right. He's done. So we're going to go to Familia. Double play gets us out of it. Can we get Rosario on? Man, that would have been nice. He's got the speed. First and second for Odor. He grounds out. I just like the sound. Double. We're going to go to a lefty. Um, Jake Diekman gets us out of the inning. Perfect. Nimmo doesn't get on. Tebow out. All right. So we'll go to Todd Frazier. He flies out. Man, I thought maybe I maybe maybe thought the Todd father would have done it for us. Um, let's go to Martinez. Sack bunt, fly out, pop up. Whoo, a little sketchy there. All right, first and second, no outs. Come on, 
Big Meat Pete, I need you here. Sack fly. And we defeat the Dodgers 4-3. to three. There we go. That's a nice little walk-off right there. Um, let's just keep with the quick manage. Things are going really good so far. There's no point in changing it. So we are the away team this time. We got Syndergaard on the mound. Everyone looks a little bit more rested. Let's see how things go here. Not the best start, but Syndergaard... Another first inning home run. We're down by two. Wilson Ramos gets one back. I'll take that. So Tebow grounds out. All right. Syndergaard gets a single. We got a guy on second. No no run score there. And then Seager goes deep. Five runs. Really? Can we get something here? We can't. One run scores. So we're down five. And it's looking like Syndergaard's done after five. Nimmo, a lot, like we're just not getting hits. That's a big thing, you know. All right, we went six with Syndergaard, so we're just we're just not getting hits. That's a big issue. Double play. Oh man, I don't really want to do this, but it's looking like we're gonna have to go. Just one inning with Martinez. We're gonna bring in Tom, uh, Dom Smith. We got six outs, five outs now. To, okay, four outs now to come back. Can we do it? Mm, we can't. All right, Familia, I need you here. It all comes down to this. That's one out. That's two. And that's that's the season. Syndergaard really let us down that that outing. What was it? Five five runs in like three innings? That's just that's rough. The Astros defeat the Dodgers, but that's a that's a positive first season. We made the postseason. We went all to the NLCS, all the way to the NLCS. So let's see what we can do in this offseason. Gregor Blanco and Raja Davis retired. Oh no. Um, let's take a look at some of these negotiations. Zach Wheeler pitched very well. I will definitely want to bring him back. 10 mil, though. Um, let's see if we can get him down to, like, 9. If we can... It's pushing it. All right, we'll go 9-5 for the next five years. Probably not the best deal, but... Luis Avalon pitched well. He probably won't want too much. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um, he's younger than Diekman. Diekman did pitch better, though. Do we just do the one-year deal for Diekman? Todd Father, Odorizzi, we're going to see if we can find a different one. And I guess I guess we'll bring back Avilon for at least a year, four and a half. Definitely not too bad. So let's hop into it. Let's keep going. Next one, we're taking 40 man, not too worried about it. Arbitration, definitely got to offer him arbitration. Can't let him go. We definitely got to offer him arbitration. Comforto will as well. Um, Seth Lugo, how did you pitch? You pitched very well. We definitely got to keep keep you around. Um, and then, realistically, I'll probably just give everybody arbitration. There's no point in not doing it. You know, it's you know they're cheap contracts. They're not terrible at all. Um, I mean, we'll we'll give him one anyways. Ruben Tejada, what a man. And then, there we go. That's arbitration. Let's take a look at contracts. Let's take a look at contracts. See what this is like. Um. Yeah, everybody's going to get a contract. There's re no reason not to like just give one. And then we'll hop into next season, see what players we bring in. Hopefully, we can strengthen the team a little bit and maybe win the World Series this time. It's season two time. Obviously, we, we've added our um, prospects, our draft picks. So, we'll, we'll take a look at those. You guys can see Villegas. He's in um, Benny Washington. He's in Double A. What else we got? Tom Dixon, he's there. Watney's there. Um, Rene Armas is there. We added a lot of players to fill up, um, bull, not bullpen, minor league spots. So there's that. We had we had to sign a lot because I let go of a lot of older players who are on big contracts. Like, I'm not saying big as in like two, three million, but like five hundred thousand for like a 32 year old that was deep potential. There's no point in keeping those guys around. So we brought in a lot of minor leaguers on minor league contracts. So, but this is the lineup. Not too much has changed with this part. Um, again, Tim Tebow's in there. Don't you worry. He's he's our he's our definition of a super cleanup hitter. He's down there. He's ready to ball this year. He's gonna be our MVP for sure. Um, changes here. We added Dallas Keuchel for a season, one of the better available starting pitchers, and then Coda Glover has come up to help us instead of um, Selman, who they have a copious amount of pitchers in the minors, but that's okay. You know, depth is important so this is what we're rocking with i like it i think it's a very strong team i'm pretty happy with it i think we're gonna we're gonna do some damage once again hopefully 
hopefully if tebow balls out we're winning the world series i'm calling it now i need him to hit more than 10 home runs if he hits more than 10 home runs we're winning a world series so let's hop into season two see how things go so season two is going to finish this is what happened the east all of a sudden decided to be really 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 strong actually i shouldn't say all of a sudden they're they're a pretty competitive um division but 89 and 73 we're playing the phillies the braves beat us i think we lost by like a game Ooh, we were eight games back yikes um and then obviously three you know you, you see what's going on here so it was it was pretty crazy oh it wasn't the braves it was the nationals okay and to be honest it makes a little bit more sense because we could not beat the nationals like i was paying attention to that while i was simming whoo the nationals they like swept us every single series almost it felt like so Conforto looks like he had a really good year. DeGrom and Syndergaard had a pretty solid pitching, you know, season as well. Conforto with the Hank Aaron and a gold glove for Nimmo. So let's take a look, see how things went. DeGrom, 3-1-2 ERA, 1-1-2 whip. Okay. Syndergaard, jeez, crazy good stuff. Dallas Keuchel, not too bad. Definitely like those numbers. Um, might not bring them back. Well, it all depends on who's available in free agency. Mike Miner, very good for the last two seasons. Um, can't complain about that. And then Zach Wheeler, we just signed him to a long-term deal, but he might be a player I look to trade just so that we could get a little bit better pitching staff. Cause I feel like we could get, we could get some really good stuff. Carlos Martinez is very good. Lugo, amazing. Avilon, not so much. Good thing I signed up for a year. We can find somebody else. Minaya struggled a little bit. It might be time to bring up, back up Jesselman or Jesselman and, uh, maybe Paul as well. So Cody Glover struggled a little bit. Juris Familia was okay. I think his contract expires next season. So we'll see Jake Diekman. Good thing we did a year because he struggled a little bit and so did Diaz. So we may need to find like kind of a setup closer group that we need to have some faith in. So McNeil, very good year. Really, really good year. Nimmo, solid as well. Conforto, amazing. 42 homers, 115 RBIs. Pete Alonzo, those are numbers I want to see. A 277 average with 33 home runs. Amazing, really good. Ramos, not a bad year. Definitely not bad. He's decreasing though, so it's probably time to move on for him. His contract does expire, so we'll probably find a new catcher. Ahmed Rosario's okay. Um, he might be a player that I trade just to find. Well, 21 home runs, not bad. The on base percentage is a little bad though. JD Davis was okay. Not amazing, not great. Rugnet Odor's decent. Uh, we'll take a look at the bench really quick before we look at Tebow's stats. It was all right. And this is what all this is this is where it matters. I see Tebow's up to a 66, so something good happened. 15 home runs, 206 average, and 42 RBIs. So things are looking good. I said if you hit more than 10 home runs, we're winning the World Series. So let's hop into it against this Phillies squad in this wild card matchup. We are the away team. DeGrom, I'm assuming versus Nola. I didn't even see. Their team looks okay. Um, from what I see, yeah, it is Nola. So can we start it off right? No. So Segura, it's actually a standard Phillies team. Like, no changes at all. We get a walk. Then a double play. Really? All right. No damage done there. DeGrom gets a single. First and second with one out. Bases are loaded for Conforto. Please bring it in. All right. That's all we wanted. And then Pete Alonso goes deep. We got a four-run lead heading into the fourth. We got a triple there. Tebow strikes out he can't even get me a sack fly come on man i needed you there conforto goes deep to make it a five run game it's looking comfortable but i don't want to get like too comfortable you know things could happen i just need tebow to get a hit he hasn't had a hit yet he's been hit by the ball he's been hit by pitch but he hasn't gotten a hit so pete alonzo brings in two more and we're looking very comfortable at this point rosario nope tebow no I mean, like, when our pitchers are getting more hits than Tebow, you know, there's an issue there. There's something that's not, something's not clicking. But, uh, unfortunately, all right, well, I wasn't even paying attention, but DeGrom just had a three-hit shutout. So, that's that's a good start to the postseason. I was too busy ranting about Tebow to see what was going on. Oh, we're facing the Nationals. This one's going to be tough. Um, because the Nationals gave us a lot of trouble. Um... We'll do that. So hopefully we can sneak a win here because the national, like I said, during the season, the Nationals gave us a lot of trouble. We barely, we were lucky to get one win uh, a series. So 
I wonder why. I didn't even look at their lineup. We'll take a look at their lineup in a second. Ahmed Rosario goes deep. Then Conforto goes back to back. We're looking good here. Tebow. Come on. Um, looking at their squad, Daniel Murphy's new. Josh Harrison at second, but it looks like a standard Nationals team. So maybe their pitching's really strong. All right, so we got a guy at second with one out. Jeff McNeil brings him in. That's what I like to see. So we have a three-run lead, um, but obviously something's clicking for the Nationals. So we got to be careful. We can't afford them to get back into the game. Tebow doesn't get another hit, so there's a problem. Maybe that's our problem. We're relying too much on Tebow, you know? Um, Jose Abreu, I just saw that name, so that's a new addition to the squad. Um, maybe he was a pinch hitter. Let's see here. So, so far, so good. DeGrom's been very good for us. We're going to keep him going. He's pitching well. Bases loaded for Alonzo. Grounds out. All right. So, through seven, I mean, DeGrom's not even at half stamina. Nimmo. Nimmo's that second. Come on, Tebow. Tebow with the RBI. That's what I'm talking about. Tim Tebow delivers. That's what we needed. We get that 6 nothing victory, which is great to see. So let's keep it going. Let's keep let's keep this momentum. Let's do the reverse sweep on them. City Field, Mike Miner. Or we, let's go with Syndergaard. They have Scherzer up. Yeah, we had to go Syndergaard for sure. Let's see if he can not allow five runs in three innings like he did last time. So far, so good. Come on. We just need a good outing here. It's going to be Scherzer. It's going to be a very tough matchup. Tebow got on. Syndergaard hit by pitch. Sack fly gets in one. Can we get another sack fly? Can't. That's all right. We get a run. Those are those are going to be tough to come against with Scherzer. So, you know, those are going to be tough to get. So, we definitely need to we need to get our runs. Rosario's on first. Couldn't, couldn't get him moving. We probably should have stole, maybe. Maybe that was the right move. But so far, so good. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Two outs. All right, we get out of that through seven. Syndergaard's pitched very well. Um, mm, We're going to take our chances here. We're going to go to we'll go J.D. Davis. He walks. Um, we're going to pinch run. We don't really have anybody that's quick, so we're not going to pinch run. So um, pitching change. We're going to go to... We'll go Familia. There's a tie and run. Familia, are you kidding me? Stolen base. All right, we got to go to the lefty. Jake Diekman caught stealing. What is going on? Two run score. Oh, we've fallen apart. What happened? Why? Jerry's Familia, you really let me down there. You just completely just... Oh, man. All right, guy in, guy in first. All right, we got two outs. Never mind. We got no more outs, and the Nationals beat us. Oh, jury's familiar. We should have stuck with Syndergaard. Things were going really good. I don't know. I don't know why we changed it. You know, it's the postseason. I figured Syndergaard, it was probably best to just move move past them, let them see if we can get some extra hits or extra base runners and go to the bullpen didn't work out so the Astros defeat the Cubs um, I didn't want to skip forward I wanted to see maybe if we got anything but we didn't so let's just move forward let's see how things go um, looking at exclusive negotiations I feel like Heichel is going to start to go down do we go minor who pitched better I mean they pitched basically the same I have a little bit more who wants less that's because I'm thinking this is going to be our fifth starter. So this is why I'm kind of like, who wants a little bit less? We'll go minor. Five is not bad. Ramos, we're going to let walk. We're going to let the rest walk. Those guys really struggled um, throughout the year. So I want to find a little bit better starting pitching and relieving. So um, arbitration wise, mm, probably not Minea, Minaya, Minea, Minea, whatever his name is. We'll give the rest contracts or arbitration, I should say. Everybody's going to get a contract here. So season three, big changes are coming. Expect some changes in the lineup. Expect some changes in the, the starting rotation and bullpen. Let's win this World Series. All right, we're starting two with the, or not two. We're starting season three with a pretty big deal. We're going to, we're going for a starting pitcher. Jose Barrios of the Twins for um, Rene Armas, our first season draft pick. He's already a 77. Just unfortunately, he's not going to feature. Um, Ronnie Mauricio and then Andres Jimenez. We're, we're basically clearing the farm system on this one, but I like it a lot. 
Alrighty, Mike Miner, Odor, and Luis Guillorme are going to be traded for Eugenio Suarez. I'm going to move McNeil back to second. Odor's just not hitting the ball as I would have hoped. We're going to bring in a little bit of a power bat with Suarez. All right, so this is how our pitching rotation is going to look. We're going to have Marcus Stroman as a new addition. Everybody else is new. Oh, Jose Barrios was new as well. Um, we brought in Brad Hand to close out the game. We're going to we're gonna give Familia and Diaz half a season. If they start doing poorly at the by the deadline, we'll trade them away. You guys can see the rest of the bullpen. It's pretty much the same. When we look at the lineups, um, we got the new addition of Eugenio Suarez and then James McCann. Basically the same rating as Wilson Ramos. That's who we had a catcher, right? Yeah, that's who we had a catcher. Um, and then everything else is basically the same. This is not how the lineup's going to be. I'm going to move it around a little bit. But you guys can see who's part of the squad. I, would, I did want to make a couple trades, but then I was thinking about it. Really, we just needed another power bat. And Suarez was, was I think, is going to be enough. Alrighty, last chance to win a World Series. If we don't win a World Series... I might lose it. It's been it's been a while since the last one. So 98 and 64 were taken on the Reds. And let's see how things went. No league leaders. Okay. Awards though. A gold glove. That's a little disappointing. So let's take a look. See how things went. Syndergaard, very solid. DeGrom, very solid as well. Barrios, holy cow. Really good year. Um, Wheeler, meh. Probably should have traded him. He was definitely a player I wanted to trade. Probably could have found a better... Um, fifth starter Stroman was okay kind of similar to what Stroman does in real life um, Carlos Martinez very good Lugo amazing Giselle Jesselman 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 I don't know three ERA um, Paul Paul did quite well Edwin Diaz Juris Familia and Brad Hand so these three whoo crazy good um I brought I sent down Coda Glover because he wasn't doing too great how is Villegas doing he was doing well so I brought him up instead. I don't understand why they sent him down. I want him on the playoff roster. Um, who'd they call up? Assign Justin Turner as like a bench bat. I see why they didn't want him because he was doing it very poorly. Holy cow. Um, I still feel like he's going to do better than a Denny Echeverria. So let's remove him from the the lineup and let's take a look at our lineup see how things went Nimmo hit the ball very well um Jeff McNeil not his best year that's a little disappointing uh, Pete Alonso amazing Conforto very solid Eugenio Suarez almost 300 average perfect Ahmed Rosario solid season James McCann 262 with 11 homers not bad at all JD Davis not terrible I mean he's kind of like a platoon bench bat and then Tim Tebow his best year in the bigs his best year in the majors strikeout numbers down walks number up rbis up home runs up hits up average everything like that's that's a career year for tim tebow we're winning it all we're bringing it we're bringing the world series home that's what's going to happen so take it on the reds okay this is how it's going to end most likely because we just can't catch a break that's basically what it comes down to so Inciarte is new Brantley's new, Odor, Camargo. They've got like a brand new team there in Cincinnati. Going against Hunter Green. Okay. Hunter Green. Suarez brings in a run. That's all we need. We just got to get those runs in. Tie ball game. Tebow doesn't get a hit, but DeGrom does. That says a lot about Tim Tebow's ability to hit a baseball. So, can we get that next run? I think it's going to be huge. Tim Tebow, you just, come on, just hit the ball i feel like he always strikes out i feel like that's an issue conforto with the double brings in two bases loaded for tebow can't do it just doesn't doesn't succeed degrom has more hits than tebow does i think degrom this game has more hits than tebow does the entire playoffs through these last three years that's saying something that's crazy james mccann goes deep tebow got a single tebow's moving up in the world that's what's that that's just crazy. He's got two hits throughout his postseason career. Crazy stuff. Unreal. Double for Alonzo. Sack fly makes it a four-run game. We're gonna let DeGrom take it from here. We're not, we're not. We're gonna let Brad Hand close the door. He's gonna close the door. And that's the game. Alright, so all comes down to this. Two to two in the series. We're away. 
Whew, great American ballpark. Let's see how things go. We're going to have Barrios on the mound. Can we do it? Barrios, Luis Castillo. This is a good matchup for sure. First and second, no outs. Bases loaded for Tim Tebow. He strikes out. He can't even get a sack fly. I think that's the second time during this rebuild that he was not able to hit a sack fly. Man, that is tough. That is tough indeed. And one run scores. There's two hits in the entire game. Jeez, this game is ridiculous. Okay, three hits now. Can we get one? There's one. We're still only down one. This is a pitching duel. Come on. I feel like we, we got a pinch hit, right? It feels like it's that time of the game. We, we have to pinch hit. It worked out for us, too. Um, we got the base. Ooh, Jake Diekman, former... Oh, okay. So they just have everybody that we used to have. So we're going to bring in, we'll bring in Diaz. And with, it all comes down to this. I mean, it was a pitching duel and it sucks because that's our season, man. It And look, just think if Tim Tebow could have gotten down that sack fly, just hit it and play a little deep tie ball game. We wouldn't have been knocked out we would have had a really good game we wouldn't have had to pinch hit jose barrios we would have been set but unfortunately tim tebow ruins everything and he is the reason we lost that postseason this was the year i, I knew it was going to be the year and he blew it he blew his only chance to win a world series overall i like the team um it's not an expensive team either like you still have some money to play with jury's familia i wouldn't bring back I'd probably just let him go. With that 11 million, you can invest it somewhere else. I'd bring back Barrios or Syndergaard. Um, you probably could bring back both. You have Justin Turner leaving. You have Nimmo that you could bring back. Conforto will bring back. I mean, there's some money that's open and available to work with. It just all depends who you want to keep, who you want to trade away. I think this is a really solid team. You know, you got DeGrom. If you can keep these three, I think you're set. These couple players you could trade away open up about, what, 20 million, 25 million in cap space. That's a good little chunk of money to reinvest somewhere else. The bullpen, I think you got some decent arms there. And the lineup, I think, is really strong as well. Just unfortunately, Tim Tebow just couldn't get that sack fly down. He gets that sack fly down. It's a game changer for sure. But that's how it's going to end, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tim Tebow rebuild. It's unfortunate. We just we just couldn't get that that one extra hit, that one extra run or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, in the comment section, let me know future players you would like to see uh, rebuilds around. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.